everyone. My name is Rachel. Welcome back to my channel today. I am here to talk about romance authors that I have never read from before. They are on the top of my TBR. I cannot wait to check out these authors for myself. Earlier this week I released a video where I talked about romance authors that I've read one or two books from that I need to read more from. So I will link that video up in the cards above. But for today we are talking about the romance authors that are at the top of my TBR. First and foremost we have Eloisa James. How have I not read any of her books yet. Uh, she has definitely been on the top of my historical romance TBR for a very long time. One book in particular that I'm really excited about getting to is My American Duchess. This is one of her few standalones actually. And while we're here let's just talk about the beautiful step back. Um, but this one I know is about this woman who has like been betrothed twice I think and those betrothals have fallen through. So people think that she's cursed. So from what I understand, she has traveled from England to the United States where she meets our hero. So that one sounds really great. I'm really looking forward to reading her Wilds of Lindo Castle series. This uh, series has quite a few books at this point. This is technically book one, which is Wild in Love, one of my absolute favorite step backs of all time. Just absolutely stunning. Um, but there's actually a prequel novel, which is My Last Duchess, which is about the parents of uh, the kids that the main part of the series covers, which is really, really cool. I've heard that this series kind of has Bridgerton vibes going on. I've heard that Eloisa James in general kind of has like Julia Quinn vibes, maybe, uh, maybe even a little bit of Tessa Dare. I don't know. I've heard quite a few other authors' names thrown around when people talk about Eloisa James. So really 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 looking forward to finally checking her out at some point. Next up we have Autumn Gray. This is an author that I think I heard about from Brie from In Love and Words. There is a trilogy that she wrote called Desolate or I think it's like the Grace trilogy. This one sounds really interesting because it is about a hero who is preparing to be a priest but then he meets the heroine so things get very complicated and angsty from there. Um, another book that I've heard really really great things about by Autumn Gray is Fallback Skyward. I don't really know what this is about but I think that the cover is absolutely stunning. Next author I want to bring up is Emma Scott. I think she's most well known for her Full Tilt duet. I think I have both of these books on my Kindle. I think I bought them when they were on sale for like 99 cents or something like that. So I definitely need to get to these. Um, another book that I've heard phenomenal things about is Someday Someday, which I think is a male male romance, but I could be completely wrong about that. Emma Scott is actually another author that I've heard Brie rave about quite a bit, but I know a lot of people that adore this author. So really, really excited about that. Next up we have Nikki Sloan. So there's quite a few books that I'm really, really looking forward to checking out. The first one is The Initiation, which is book one in a series by her. I've just heard that the plot of this is absolutely bonkers. Like the initiation itself is insane. I think this is a billionaire romance. Um, also there's the series by her that includes like the doctor, the architect, and the pool boy. Really looking forward to all three of these books but Samantha from Books with Samantha recently did a video where she talked about how the pool boy is her new like favorite book of all time so that's really exciting to me. From what I've heard about Nikki Sloan it sounds like she kind of gives similar vibes to Katie Robert which you guys probably know by now. Katie Robert is one of my absolute favorite um, erotic romance authors. So really looking forward to checking her out. Next up we have Sophie Lark. The book on my TBR from her is Brutal Prince which is book one in a mafia romance series by her. This woman is like the mafia romance queen. Um, I think she has written several romance series at this point. I think they're all available on Kindle Unlimited. I actually bought the audiobooks for I think the first two books in this series when Audible was doing like a super sale. Like most of their audiobooks were like 80% off or something like that. So I think I got the first couple of audiobooks for like five bucks or something ridiculous like that. Um, but I've heard awesome things about Brutal Prince in particular. Um, it's like a hate to love, marriage of convenience kind of deal going on that's pretty common with mafia romances but I've heard that this one is just really fun. So really looking forward to checking out Sophie Lark. I know that Jen from the Book Refuge absolutely adores everything that, that this woman writes. 
months. Um, so yeah, I have a feeling that I'm going to enjoy her work as well. And we have Megan Quinn, who I believe writes rom-coms from what I understand. I'm really looking forward to reading her Brentwood Boys series, which is a series all about baseball players. And I believe most, if not all, of her books are on Kindle Unlimited as well. Um, but I've heard really great things about most of the books in this series. The ones that I'm really looking forward to are the lineup and the change up. Um, Brie has also been raving about Megan Quinn and what's funny is that actually her dad reads romance novels and uh, she started reading Megan Quinn because her dad adores Megan Quinn which I think is just so fun. Um, so really looking forward to checking her out. It just sounds like her books are a really fun time. Uh, next up we have Brianna Hale. There's a couple of books by her that I'm really looking forward to reading. The first one is The Ringmaster sounds like a romance centering around the circus, right? And then she also has this duet. I believe book one is called Come to Daddy and the second one is Lap of Luxury. I can't even tell you the synopsis anymore, but I remember hearing Lacey from Lacey Book Lovers talking about this duet and the plots of both of them just sounded so so good um that i like immediately bought them for my kindle um and from what i also recall is that you do have to read this duet in order from what I understand. Next up we have Pam Godwin. So Pam Godwin is very very well known for writing pretty dark romances so I'm going into her backlist kind of hesitant and with caution but there are two books in particular of hers that I'm really interested in. The first one is Sea of Ruin. I actually bought the ebook of this one and I also bought the audiobook. I think it was on sale or something if I'm not mistaken. This is just a really really dark historical romance. I believe it's also a pirate romance. I think there's a messy love triangle going on. Um, I know that there is content warning for things like sexual assault so definitely go into this book with some caution but I've just heard so many people rave about this book that I need to check it out for myself. Another book of Pam Godwin's that I'm really interested in is Lessons in Sin which I believe is her most recent release which as you can probably tell from the cover and the title um, it is a romance involving a priest and then I believe um, like an 18 year old a teenager who goes to the school that he teaches at so definitely taboo elements going on for sure. But I've actually heard a lot of people who love Pam Godwin say that this is one of her lighter romances um, and kind of one of her less taboo ones. So really interested in checking this one out at some point. Next up we have Lindsay Sands and what's really interesting about this author is that she writes both a lot of historical romances and a lot of paranormal romances. Um, in particular she has I think it's the Arginot series which is her vampire romance series. The first book in that I think is a quick bite. I've heard that these books are just really silly and funny and kind of over the top. That sounds like her writing style so that sounds really fun. Um, there's quite a few historical romances from her that I'm really interested in reading. I think one of them in particular is A Lady in Disguise. She also has some really beautiful covers for her historicals. Um, so yeah I think what I'm gonna do is kind of go on Goodreads and see uh, which of her synopses sound good to me and kind of go from there. Next up we have Elisa Braden. This is an indie historical romance author. Um, I know that Jessen from Jessen Reads Romance recently read The Making of a Highlander by her and absolutely adored it. There's a couple of other of her backlist books that sound really good to me. I actually think I have a couple of her books that I bought off of Kindle when they were on sale for like 99 cents or were free or something like that. So I definitely have quite the backlist to go through for sure. And actually a lot of her audiobooks are on Hoopla and I think a lot of her books are on Kindle Unlimited but I could be wrong about that. And last but certainly not least we have Katie Wilde. So this is an author that she reminds me a lot actually of Ruby Dixon and I think the two of them are actually good friends um, in that she writes just a ton. I feel like she's constantly coming out with a new book um, but also it sounds like she writes kind of bonkers and out there romances just like Ruby Dixon does. Um, first and foremost I really want to read I think it's the Midwinter Mail Order Bride which is a fantasy romance novella. I've heard nothing but phenomenal things about that one. Um, also we have uh, The Teacher's Pet Wolf. I can't tell you the plot of this one anymore. I really don't remember but I remember when somebody was talking about this book 
on booktube that I immediately added it to my Kindle Unlimited wish list. So it just sounds like her books are a really fun time. Again, similar to Ruby Dixon. So really looking forward to checking her out at some point. All right, guys, that's going to be it for some romance authors that are on the top of my TBR. Definitely let me know in the comments below if you have read from any of these authors or if you have any favorite books of theirs. I would definitely love to hear some recommendations from you guys. All of that being said, I would love it if you would leave a like and subscribe. And I thank you in advance if you do. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye! Bye!